check alignment now we can make align for the this check this is original check from alienator type we need to align properly alignments on the printing type it's need to come in the proper place for the elements so i'll show you how to make the alignment so first you can click it here transaction and print signal check and first you need to select your bank account personally it doesn't have the bank account we didn't create it so i'll show you how to create so just click it here new and click here new and the bank name and give it the bank name and the account number and the decimal place in your country what is the decimal place support if you can select it here in my case will be 30 some countries will be 20 depend on you so i'm selecting for the 30 and the date mode some countries depend on the check leaf so here you know separate date separate date means each element will be separately all the date element will be separate columns it's called separate date and group date group date you have normally only one column for the date you have to be divided by slash for each elements so it's group date and year month and date first will be year and month will be after and date some can canada checks coming like that so in my case that it will be separate date i'm going to select here separate date and the currency major that will be in my case will be dinar or rupees like that whatever you can give and minor currency in my case will be fees and here inverts mode there is two type of inverts one is international it's called million and billion method and one is asian method if you are an asian country you can give the asian method so in my case that it will be international and the place of issue place of issue means some of the check only if you can reach checks there is one required column place of issue if in your check leaf have the place of issue column you can enable it otherwise you can give the design so the required field we fill filled already so i'm going to click save here so the bank account will be ready now i want to make the template for the printing template or suddenly i don't have template here so i'm going to click here new template create new template and i'm giving the name a u b template and going to click save here so the template is ready now here i need to upload my scanned check so this one already i scanned in my pc already have a file for the this check so i am going to here upload scanned template i'm going to click it here so this is my scanned check so after that i want to give the measurement what is the width and height for the check so from the centimeter for the centimeter i have to measure it so i am going to measure this one to 17.9 width so here is the ruler i am going to give 17.9 and the height will be 8.8 so here depend on your check size you can give the sizing so with the net already set now i am going to save the template so the check template will be ready after again i need to click the print check so first i am going to select my created bank account and create a template and here you can select your printer also which printer you are planning to print for the check and i am going to select this printer so here after that you can click it align for the check alignment or you need to click it align and here make sure your bank and the template will be okay already selected and click check alignment so this is the alignment window now we need to drag and drop proper, properly for each element in the correct place so date element i am going to drag it here first the proper columns so everything i need to drag properly correct place so you know after the dragging you know some will be up some will be down it will be not correct so on the condition you can click here date align so everything like the first one same 
and after that i'm going to click here i'm going to make the pay here and amount i'm going to place the correct and account pay only i make the correct place and the inverts also in my case in my check have the three inverts lines so i align properly for the inverts also so the net inverts will be okay now i'm going to save and show changes now i'll show here some selections also have for uh, how you are going to insert check into your printer vertical or straight you can select it here and what is the start security and end security security means uh, near to the amount you can see the uh, in front of the amount after that the amount also three stars if you require the security you can give the security otherwise you can just keep the blank in my case i give the security statement here you can change the font and font size will be here and bold and regular will be here and inverts lines this is most important thing in my case i have three lines so i select here inverts lines will be three and some of the checks there is two lines only so on the condition i can select for the two lines depend on So two lines. Here you can set the width also. Here you know two lines, two fifty I am giving. It means very lengthy for the inverts. Depend on your check size, you can give what is the inverts width. So in my condition, I am giving three line seventy five. And here place of issue, you can enable or disable from here also. And the date mode also you can set it here. And the printer, which printer? you are going to print the checks so everything will be ready you can save and show changes now i need to test print here in this check i want to test print it so i don't want to waste my original check on the condition i keep some empty papers i cut same like the check size so now i will show you this is my original check i cut the same size some empty papers for the testing printing testing because we don't want to waste our good set maybe many times we have to practice on to get the correct alignment so i'm going to insert the paper here so paper insert now test print for the test you know some of the contents is out of the paper so i have to move a little bit here in this side so i'm going to move it here a little bit and seven show changes and the screen hack so to get the top also my records seven show changes and the screen again Yeah, it's now coming on the proper place. I want to check its support for this check. So it's very easy. I can keep the check my original check behind of the test paper. Yeah. In front of the light, I'm checking. So I have to be a little bit up and right. I got the idea. So I'm going to print it again. So little bit up and little bit here, and just bend again. Until you get the correct position, you have to practice this one. Yeah, almost okay. I have to move little bit here. I'm going to test print again. Yeah, 
yeah it's 100 percentage correct i get the correct question so you know now i try for the three times for the test printing i have practice so if you are new on the check balls you have to print minimum 15 20 times be patient print it again 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 and to get the correct question so alignment everything will be ready so now here you can close it this one so save save and show changes so everything will be saved and now i'm going to close this one done it so alignment ready for the alienator bag check template will be ready alignment will be ready in next video i will show you how to make the printing for the check printing real check printing for download www.checkpulse.com